Let's go. You try to make us look bad. I just want to get this in place. I'll follow you guys down. What's he doing? He's probably starting a new floor. Oh, well, it's about time. Victims were construction workers, ranging in age from 27 to 51. The cause of death in all three cases was identical. Cerebral emboli caused by some sort of hypercoagulable state. They all occurred in the past three weeks. Well, unless you believe in bad luck, there's got to be some good reason. No, not according to the EPA or the CDC. They couldn't find any bacterial or viral contaminants. No evidence of environmental hazards. Ah, so enter Paul Turner. One of the CDC guys mentioned his name. Well, at least you're getting a good word about. <coughs> no, you sound terrible. Did you try the echinacea? I've told you before that I do not do alternative medicine. Well, five bucks says you're making chicken soup right now. I happen to like chicken noodle soup. Besides, just the smell of it clears my head. You know, that sounds suspiciously like aromatherapy. Oh, this conversation is over. developed half the residential high-rises in downtown Seattle. But the Shoals put Orrin Hoberman on the map. You were a general contractor since they first broke ground. Yeah, but I don't know for how much longer. Hoberman's threatened to slap me with a lawsuit. What for? Pulling my crew off the job. After Mike Stenick's death, I shut down. Three of your men were dead. <laughs> you have to understand the mind of Orrin Hoberman. The man thinks of himself as some kind of 20th century pharaoh. Whoever dies with the biggest pyramid wins. And then after EPA, CDC, and OSHA gave the building a clean bill of health, just fed Overman's denial. He said the deaths were all coincidental. He ordered my people back onto the job. 
But you refuse to send them? Look, don't get me wrong. I'm very proud of the work I've done on this building, and I have every intention of completing it, but not before I find out why three of my men have died of strokes. Mike was right here the last time I saw him. He was working on that heating duct. He show any signs of illness earlier in the day? No, in fact, we we're all gonna go for a beer later. Did you notice any peculiar smells when you were here earlier? You guys. I'm sorry? I mean, you guys must all follow the same playbook, right? Look, these are the same questions I got from the CDC and the EPA. Who'd you say you're with again? You sandwich. With all those initials, you'd think you'd ask some better questions. Charlie, Dr. Turner's here to help. No, I, uh, I didn't notice any more peculiar smells. This has been hard on all of us. We've been working nonstop on this project for the past 18 months. You log hours like that with people, you get to be like a family, you know? I've scheduled a second autopsy for Mr. Stanek first thing tomorrow morning. Well, unfortunately, it's a day too long. The first group of buyers are taking title of their apartments tomorrow, and some of them are moving in. The building's not finished. First 10 floors are. The people who are moving in, do they know there may be a problem? Well, as far as Mr. Hoberman's concerned, there is no problem. If word gets out that there was, Hoberman Group would go bankrupt. This apartment we're standing in, this is, uh... $3 million. Do the math. What are you looking for? The talk screens were all negative. You read my report. We tested those bodies for every chemical on the list. Yeah, I'd still like to see that list before I go. I'm just trying to make sure that I understand your findings. That way, once I do, maybe I can build on them. Well, your attitude is a lot better than those test tube scrubbers from the CDC and the EPA. Forget something? Maybe. Wait, uh, turn that back off, please. on Stanek's face and neck. What kind of marks? Could be from a small gauge syringe needle, could be from an insect bite. I'm sending a tissue sample to our forensic pathology lab. Well, what about this phosphorescent substance? I'm having it analyzed. But you think it might be related to these deaths? I don't know. I need to examine the other two bodies. I'm working on getting permission to exhume their graves. How long will that take? Well, we're shooting for end of business today. It be too late. The first wave of homeowners is moving in. You stole them. I can't even talk to them. Hoberman got the judge to issue a gag order that prevents me from talking to the new owners. How many people are moving in? Twelve families. All right. No, no, careful, you guys. Okay. I can swing it this way. Watch the paint. Just, okay. I don't want any of the paint ruined here. Just put it over there. Thanks. All right, now, the next... Did I not tell you to play in the hall? Look at this. What? We haven't even moved in and you're making marks already? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Go.
the hall. I think someone here needs a little time out. But mom! Don't but mom me. Let's go. I don't want to hear about it. You know, in Queensland, a barking spider is reported to have killed a chicken and dragged it 50 feet along the ground. Actually pulled the chicken's foot halfway down into its burrow. What exactly am I looking at? Pedipel. It's part of the male sex organ. I found it under Lumley's fingernail. I also found a tarsal claw on Aaron's body, as well as the same bite mark Stanek had. Which is what you think caused the stroke? Well, tissue analysis didn't prove any connection between the bite marks and the embolisms. Most spider bites... No more than the bee sting. Well, but then there's the Australian funnel web, which can bite through the skull of a small mammal and throw you into a coma. It's funny how the smaller ones do the most damage. In the arachnid world, size doesn't matter. Anyways, to get back to your question, I have no problem believing that a spider bite could cause an embolism if the venom contained some sort of a clotting fluid. Well, then how come there wasn't any toxin in the blood samples? I don't know. I need to review the tox screens again. Its bite can cause intense pain, profuse sweating, difficulty breathing, loss of consciousness, violent convulsions, finally death. Did you find something? Alice Cooper saw. I can't get a match. I'm going to check some other sources, but right now my best guess is you boys have found yourselves a new species. If you can find a complete specimen, you get to name it. Think of the glory. Yeah, bioluminescence means that the species probably evolved in a lightless environment. If I was going to start looking, I'd look underground, in a cave. Well, there aren't any caves of the survey charts of that land. Maybe the charts need to be revised. Now, look, I I'm having a hard time accepting this. A new species. In 1989, a new species of blind spider was found in a cave in Romania. It lives in a totally enclosed ecosystem with a food chain based on sulfur. There's new species showing up all the time. a complete evacuation of the building. Those people may be in trouble. Hoberman wouldn't even entertain the idea. He said it was all just speculation. I really couldn't argue with him, Dr. Turner. The only evidence we have is some spider's private parts. Then let's find more evidence. The third death occurred here. I walked all those places. I didn't see any spiders. Didn't even see any webs. Well, Racky thinks we may be dealing with a social species. They're rare, but they do exist. So what if they're social? That means they'd be nesting in one central location, which explains why you haven't seen any webs. Is there anything in common about where these three men died? I, I don't see. I am. Uh... Heating vents. All the deaths occurred near heating vents. Where does the heating system originate? The HVAC units are all located in the basement. The heating and the uh, ventilation ducts are located on the north side. Can you kill the lights? Kill the lights? Yeah, they'll be easier to spot in the dark. So, what's the plan? Should we actually find this nest? Right now, all I'm looking for is visual confirmation. That'll give me what I need to order an evacuation, with or without Hoberman's sanction.
I don't see anything. Now those units aren't connected yet. Maybe this is how they're getting in the heating system. Get it in from where? seen her before. Security desk. What? In there. Oh, God. I think he's dead. We need to get these people out of the species we're talking about a completely unknown species the construction of this building may have disturbed its habitat forcing it to the surface we need to... we need to conduct a proper study at the very least collect some live specimens dr turner don't think we're not grateful for all your assistance here but four people have died i'm gonna have enough on my hands just dealing with that liability no one is going back in that building until these things are eliminated. Even if that means eliminating an entire species? If ever the term good riddance applied, this is it. How soon before the building's ready for reoccupancy? We're going to pump enough methyl bromide into the building to kill anything smaller than an elephant. It'll take a week for the building to aerate. The owners can return after eight days. things out of my life. She was searching for something, like we were. What if we were looking for the same thing? Just a sec.
October. October? That's when I saw her last. So you do know who she is? Of course. Her name's Regina Tyler. I just couldn't remember when she came to see me, that's all. My mind gets a little cluttered around finals. What did she come to see you about? Uh, something about sound. Right. She had this hypothetical question. Did I know a species of spider that was attracted by rhythmical vibrations? Uh, use sound to hunt? And? I couldn't discount it. Many species do use sound to hunt. Bats, uh, sharks. Uh, the noctwood moth uses sound to evade its predators. Did she leave a phone number or an address? Well, I, I know it's around here somewhere. It was just some hospital room. I'm looking for a patient named Tyler. Yes, yeah, second door on the right. They're pretty, huh? Why don't we put these in water? Regina Tyler. My name's Paul Turner. What do you want? He dropped something. anything to say they know about the spiders they're gonna fumigate the building sweetheart i'm gonna go out and talk to that man for a minute okay 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 i'll be right back my daughter has myelodysplastic syndrome her bone marrow can't produce healthy blood cells I'm familiar with it. It's similar to a disease I've had some experience with. I listened to one doctor after another tell me that there was no cure, that it was hopeless, that it was only going to be a matter of time before her condition developed into leukemia. I don't recognize the word hopeless, Dr. Turner, not when they're talking about my little girl. I started reading books, journals, everything I could get my hands on looking for an answer. And then I met Dr. Lawrence Reinhold. He's an ethnopharmacologist, and he told me about this species of spider that was used by the Aquamish Indians to cure illnesses. Now, he'd even managed to get his hands on part of a dead spider. It was a relic, really, from one of the local tribes. But according to his analysis, the enzyme that's found in the venom that clots blood can also be used to help stimulate healthy bone marrow. <sighs> He spent two years searching for a live specimen to help confirm these findings. He traversed every cave system in the region. But last year, his body was found not far from where the Shoals lies right now. He died of a stroke. He'd found the spider. Yeah. But the exact location of the cave died with him. I searched everywhere. I even searched down in the sewers, but I didn't have any luck. And then I heard about those men at the Shoals and how they had died of strokes. Why didn't you tell anyone? Well, because of what's happening right now. I knew that if they found those spiders, they were going to try to destroy them. I needed to retrieve a live specimen to make sure that Reinhold's findings bore out. I had just located the entrance to their habitat when you found me. I'm not going to let them destroy my daughter's only hope, Dr. Turner. I'll do what I can. Phil Perry from the Department of Interior. To get the kind of action you requested would take at least a week. Yeah, but my time runs out in two hours. I mean, is, isn't there anything at all in the Endangered Species Act we can use here? There's just not enough evidence, Paul. <sighs> Reinhold's half-baked theory and in some Indian folklore. Yeah, but, but there won't be any evidence at all if this thing's wiped out. I mean, come on, you know how much medicine has been derived from folklore. Ethnopharmacology has been responsible for the development of quinine for malaria, treatments for Hodgkin's disease, heart failure, glaucoma. Paul, lecturing me on the subject won't make any difference. There's just nothing that I can do. Found a primary problem. Uh, sub basement. It's a situation. Butler and Jameson just checked in. They're almost done with their sweep. Excuse me. As soon as they come out, we'll be ready to go. Okay. Get ready to fire the pump.
Those are pretty flowers. My grandmother sent them. You get flowers when you're sick. Yeah, I know. When I was in the hospital, I got flowers, too. Were you sick? Yes, I was. But you got better. That's where my mom is. Where? She's gone off to make me well. Everybody's out. Thank you. Ready when you are. Hey, fire the pumps! She's in the building. No, we just did a complete check. The place is clean. Check it again. We have to make sure. We have to make sure. Damn it. Shut it down. What? We Someone may be in there. Shut it down. Abort! Abort! She had just discovered the entrance to the spider's habitat when we interrupted her. the support column, Phil. Call 9-1. 
911. I want an ambulance standing by. Tell the paramedics to be ready with anticoagulants, heparin, atrophine, and bring down a rope. Okay. The spiders attack any rhythmic sound. It's how they hunt.
put in that order for atrophine. Saved her life. She gonna be okay? Just came through my fax machine. It's an order to cease fumigation on the property by order of the Department of the Interior. I guess your man came through. Yes, she did. I don't know about you, but if I never see another spider as long as I live, I'll be a happy man. Holderman's filing a claim for a biomedical patent. He's seeking ownership of any drugs derived from the spider. There's about a dozen pharmaceutical firms lining up to contest it. You know, at least the possibility of a drug exists now. That wasn't the case before you got there. Hey, you sound better. I'm feeling better. Well, it must have been the chicken soup. <sighs> or the antibiotics. I'll see you soon. Hang up. No, you hang up. You hang up. No, you hang up. I'll see you soon. Sci-Fi, Strange World. 